Magandang hapon, Pilipinas at buong mundo. Naitay kapuso. Pahiram po ng 20 minutes sa inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy. And welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Sa lahat po ng nanunood sa atin sa Facebook, YouTube at nakikinig sa Dizzy Double B, welcome to the program. Special afternoon. Dahil ang ating mga bisita ay dalawa sa pinaka-respetadong mga artista ng pelikula at telebisyon at entablado. Naitay ka po, so please welcome Ms. Gina Alahar and Direct Luris Gillian. I have to say Miss Gina Alahar because you're acting here yes. and Luris is directing. <laughs> Luris, I'm so happy you're here. Yes. <laughs> you're very persuasive. I know. Maraming maraming salamat. Tapos ako sa fast talk kasi. <laughs> Dadalian lang natin. Okay. Oo, oh, oh, maraming maraming salamat. And congratulations sa aming year-ender uh, na awards ay ikaw ang best in iyak. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Di ba ako nakapagpasalamat sa inyo lahat. Marami salamat for choosing me. Alam mo, kakatuwa. It's an honor kasi first child. Eh. Oo nga eh. Thank you so much. First Alam mo, meron kaming, ano, every time I do a show, because we just have 20 minutes to do the show, ginagawa namin, uh, may mga eksena, gumagawa ako, umaarte ako. You know, it, it's it's... An afternoon show, so we just have to be alive. <laughs> but congratulations. Pero ito ang una kong tanong. Uh, pag pinag-uusapan ng pag-iyak, naalala ko ito, uh, mm -hmm. sasabihin ng halimbawa, I'm a, I'm a manager, Boy, uh, tingnan mo naman ang anak ko, napakahusay na artista. Ang galing umiyak. Ang tanong ko, gaano ba kahalaga ang mahusay umiyak sa pagiging isang mahusay na artista? Luris. Well, kasi pag madaling umiyak, it's an indication na available ang emotions niya. But that's not the only thing na hinahanap ng director oh. sa artista yung iyak. Kasi mas marami, maraming mga komplikadong emotions din na ano. Pero yung umiyak, it's, a good, it's an indication na ito, bukas ang puso nito. I, 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 I'm learning. Uh, ikaw, Gina? Oh, pareho din. Na kasi uh, na, uh, yung affectability meron ka pag madali kang umiyak kung ano yung available stimulus na dumadating sa iyo na ano mo na nararamdaman mo pat katulad din sabi ni Direct Loris na hindi naman pag-iyak lang ang basihan oh, oh, oh. ng isang pagiging mahusay na artista marami pang emosyon may mga dakilang artista hindi lamang dito sa Pilipinas na nakakaiyak na hindi lumuluha pero napaka effective napaka effective nadadala ako is that possible I mean, to cry without actually crying and make me believe that you're crying? Yes, kasi yung meron siyang in, interior, interior life, inner life na sinasabi na kahit yung iba ang linya o wala man ang linya, meron nangyayari sa kalooban niya na parang tumatakbo. So mayroon parang may, at that moment maybe experiencing again Of an, uh, an emotion that made him so vulnerable. At nakikita mo yun sa mata, sa katawan ng artista. So if you know that she's undergoing something painful. Okay. And she's crying inside. So... Oh. Mapangahas, Luris. You know, I was reading the book of the great comedian George Burns. Uh, you know, one of the chapters discussed on how many times in his life he had faked uh, a lot of scenes, a lot of lines... Pero, habang fini-fake niya, he was achieving the results. Lalo na yung, uh, halimbawa, pagpapatawa. Mm. You know, can you actually fake an emotion and make an audience believe? Well, uh, let's, I don't know. I mean, first of all, if it works for you, use it. You know? But, uh, kung may camera, kung may close-up, nakikita mo eh. Iba kasi sa like, like a live audience or like a show like this. That you, you know, it's, it's different. If you have the camera right there, the camera can see, uh, you know, can see into your eyes, can see your mm -hmm. life, inner life, what's going on inside of you. Oh, you your eyes. Yeah, hindi ko pa, hindi ko alam kung po pwede yun na meron kang emosyon tapos hindi mo naman nararamdaman hindi, hindi ko alam yon all these years But, all these it's years, always the authentic the, the real authentic. Oh, yun yung yun yung natutunan ko yun yung na, na bigay sa akin 
yun yung na, yun ang kinalakahin ko, kinatandaan ko na kailangan ma-feel mo kung ano yung ginagawa mo, ang emosyon mo okay. para ma-translate mo. Pag pinag-uusapan ng mga awards, katatapos pa lamang nung uh, Metro Manila Film Festival, uh, may mga diskusyon. Isa sa mga diskusyon, hindi lamang dito sa atin, pero globally, universally, people would say, how can they actually judge who is the best among? Uh, paano, mo, paano mo masasabi that she is better, he is better than the others? Because, you know, you know acting is a personal journey. It's so internal. It's so private. It's so personal. And how can one, hindi ko alam kung sino ang nagsabi nito, but one great actor, I, I don't understand how I can be better than the other. Your take on awards. Uh, well, sa akin kasi, ang basihan ko, if a movie or if a performance touches me, mm -hmm. if I am really touched inside, it touches something mm -hmm. inside of me that I, I feel for you, And, kasi ako hindi madaling umiyak. Umiyak ka ng umiyak dyan sa screen. Hindi naman ako naiiyak. Pero sometimes, parang it hits you like here. You know, without trying, with just being authentic on screen, that I get touched. Uh -oh. And to me, you know, you touched me and it's a real thing. And sa akin, I admire your performance. L Luris, Gina, you've been members of the panel of judges of many, of many festivals, of many contests. Wala pa bang, or I don't know if this is an oversimplification, wala pa bang mapagkakataon na may mga kaibigan na hindi kayo kinausap, nagalit sa inyo dahil hindi sila nanalo? Wala pa naman. Wala pa naman. Ah, wala. Okay. Wala naman. That's good. Pero hindi natin malilimutan, syempre, ang pag-aaway ng uh, mga dakilang direktor, Lino Broca and... Uh, Uh, and uh, Rolando Tino. Yes. Remember? I yes. mean, I will not forget that. But that's yes. for another interview. I was there, by the way. You were there? I saw and I heard. Backstage? Pero hindi no, naman... No, it was in the corridor outside the ballroom. Oh, oh. Lino was, had an entry and then I think uh, the, both are national artists. Yeah, yeah. there was a film that won practically, that swept the awards. So, parang okay. nano siya na... Anong pelikula ito, Loris? Yung kay Salso Ad Castillo na pelikula, ano man title nun. Okay. Which maganda, by the way. Pero All iba right. ng style ni Salso kay, kay Lino. Oo. Uh, do, doon magkakaiba. But ako ang gusto kong puntahan ay ang Salome. Uh, you did the film. Uh, bakit ang napaka-importante napaka po ng asawa ng... Asawa, asawa ko. ko. Para sa akin bilang isang tagahanga, I, I, I got so excited because magsasama si Luriso sa kasi Gina sa isang pelikula. Uh, noong 1981 po, gumawa si Direk Luris at sa kasi Gina ng pelikula called Salome para sa mga Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> at pareho ito nanalo. 1982, I remember, both of you, 1981, 1982, you won the Best Actress. In Urian. Gawad Urian, Best Director. In Urian uh, also. Kumusta yon? Ano ang pinaka-memorable Uh, what's what stuck to your mind? How was your dynamics as an actor, as a director? Let's bring me back to 1981. I think you have to ask Gina first. Sige nga, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> dynamics I, mean, I was very young. I was in my I was in my 20s, yata, early okay. 20s. And um, <clears throat> ang, ang memory score is yung location. Location sa, sa Pulang Lupa in Bicol. Um, 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 magandang pelikula. What did you think of Luris? At the time? Yes. Uh, I have high respects for her na. Kasi she has made her debut movie, Kasal. Right. Napanood ko yun. And uh, bilib na bilib na ako sa kanya to be directed by her uh, sa Salome and to be actually second choice ako doon but to be chosen to play the Salome Who was the first choice? Alma. W w wala Alma, no? Alma Moreno. Walang pangamba, walang takot? Meron, syempre, meron takot. Meron takot. Kasi hin uh, hindi ko kilala pa first time kong kakasama si Luris sa pelikula. Alam ko ma mataas ang standards niya. Yung ganun. Kaya, uh, I was on my toes. Alam ko, alam ko na marami akong matututunan sa kanya. Kaya, yun yung ginawa ko. Lahat ng pwede kong matutunan sa kanya, lahat ng, ng ituro niya sa akin. At natin, I was bata ako eh. Do you mean, early How was 20s. she as a director? Ha? Huh? How was she as a director? Very detalye. Very detalye. Hindi ka nasigawan? Hindi. 
Hindi ka na. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, hindi ako napagalitan. Hindi ka napagalitan. Hindi mo ako napagalitan. Because, Luris, that was your third movie. Tama ba ako? Yes. Sabi lang? Pang- yes. Pangatlo, di ba? Tama, ang, tama. Uh, pangatlo ang Salome. W- w- what is your memory, especially of Gina? Well, okay, she mentioned that the first choice was Alma Moreno because we were thinking of someone who just looked, I don't know, looked sexy. I mean, looked sexy and innocent at the same uh-huh. time. But we couldn't have her. So the next t- person that we were considering was right away Gina Alahar. But you see, see Gina, you don't look at her and think she, she's a sex object. So I worked on the innocence oh. because she had that. I worked okay. on the innocence of ano that innocent is a therefore yung test yung kanyang yung ang nakakaalam lang na totoo yung asawa niya but she was able to ano to to because of her her uh because of her innocence mas pinaniwalaan ni, nila na ginahasa siya talaga not that she was having an affair So, uh, wala akong problema sa ganun kay Gina. Nakikinig, masunurin. Oo, tsaka she had a seriousness of uh-huh. an actress na parang sa, sa kanyang attack sa role. And uh, anything I told her, ginawa niya to the, to the letter. Wow. So, wala akong, wala akong naging ever naging problema kay Gina. Okay. Luris, let's do an easy fast talk. Ito <laughs> <Eto> na. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Luis, our time begins now. Actress, director. Pareho. Kulang o sobra? Sobra. Lunes o biyernes? Biyernes. Teleserye, pelikula? Pelikula. Puso o pamilya? Puso. Bida kontra bida? Kontra bida. Idol mong actress? Ah, hindi ko masasabi. Idol, Idol mong aktor? Ah, uh, madami eh. Idol mong director? Diyos ko, madami rin. Sa asawa ng asawa ko, sino ang may pinakamaraming takes? Si, ja- si Jasmine Curtis. Sino ang madalas mong mapagalitan? Si Jasmine din. Sino ang pinakamahusay? Ah, uh, sa roles nila, yung, yung si, ano, si uh, Lisel. Gaano ka kastrikto bilang direktor? Ay, nako. Over the top. <laughs> Gaano ka kastrikto bilang nanay? Ah, uh, malambot ako. Bagay na nagpapainit ng ulo mo? Yung parang hindi sineseryoso yung trabaho nila. Bagay na nagpapaiyak sa'yo? Yung openness. Bagay na ipinagpapasalamat mo? yung lahat ng dumadating na blessings sa akin. A, mo- a movie is made on your story. Life story. Give it a title. Honestly, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Hindi ko naisip yan. Ha? Never. Is that lights on or lights off? A little. Modulated. Is that happiness or chocolates? Happiness. Best time for happiness. Best time? Yes. Daytime. Complete the sentence. Ako si Luris Gillian at ako ay... Unconventional. Wow. It's easy. <laughs> Maraming salamat. May, may tatlo na hindi ko nasagot. Pag-uusapan natin. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, pag-uusapan natin kung bakit uh, uh, madalas mapagsabihan si Jasmine at bakit pinakamahusay uh, si Lizelle. And also, you work with young actors. Anong meron sila ngayon, itong henerasyon, na wala noon? At anong meron kayo noon na wala ngayon? Sa lahat ng mga artista ngayon, halimbawa lang if, hypothetical, if Salome were to be remade, as director Luris, from among the young stars today, who would play Salome? And if you have a say to choose the director today, among the young batch of directors, sino ang pipiliin mo? Ang mga kasagutan po sa pagbabalik ng Fast Talk with Boy Abu. We're back in the show. Gina, tayo naman, Fast Talk. Sanay ka na dito. <laughs> Salome, salamin. 
Absolutely. Moral brutal. Both. Best actress, best mom. Best mom. Your favorite K drama. <sighs> Crash landing on you. Your favorite K drama star. Hyun Bin. <laughs> Kung bibida ka sa K drama, sinong leading man? Si Hyun Bin. Gaano ka ka spoiler? <laughs> bilang lola. Ah, ma spoiler, very. Gaano ka ka stricto bilang director? Ah, uh, hindi kasing stricto ni director. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> sa iyong mga anak, sino ang madalas mong kausap? Si Ryan. Sino ang pinakapasaway? Si Jeff. <laughs> sino ang pinakamalambing? Si Ryan. Sino ang mababaw ang luha? Si Ryan at si AJ. Tuwing kailan ka naiiyak? Oh, kapag um, simple hug and simple simple kiss and simple I love you. Tuwing kailan ka natatakot? Ah, kapag maraming pumapasok sa isip ko na, you know, things that might happen. Lights on or lights off? Off. Happiness or chocolate? Chocolate. Best time for happiness. Ah! Sa gabi, sa gabi. Ako si Gina Alahar at ako ay... I'm a child of God. You are. Oh. Lizelle is there, Jasmine, Raver, and many others. Joe M is also yeah, there. Asawa ng asawa ko. Um, how is it, uh, Direct Luis, working with them? Ah, iba-iba silang personalities. Iba-iba ang... Uh, iba-iba ang... The, 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 the parts of their yung kanilang persona na kailangan tatrabahuin ko. Like, for example, si Jasmine, madaming takes, madami akong, kung yung sabi yung pinapagalitan. Well, actually, it's, it's more of like keeping her on track because she's playing a role that's been through a really extraordinary experience as oh. suffering. So I have to keep her always that at this point of the, ano, dito ka, you mm -hmm. know, and then not, you know, Less of the Jasmine and more of the character. Right. While Lizelle, na gagaling ang ka dahil. I, sinasabi ko lang ano, intuitively alam niya kaagad ko anong kailangan ko. Do you like actors who are intelligent or actors who are intuitive? It's it, actors who are intuitive are also intelligent. Yes, they can be both. Yeah. Pero may mga artista na matalinong matalino, uh oh, but are less instinctive. Well, in that sense, mas I'll go for the intuitive. Okay. Oh. Da dahil raw, fresh. Oh, tsaka right away, pag sinabi ko, alam na kaagad nila, trigger na kaagad yung, yung personal experience nila nagpaparalel do sa ini. Okay. May kinalaman ba itong asawa ng asawa ko doon sa, hello, pwede bang makausap, nagalit ang buwan sa haba ng gabi? Ito ba'y may kinalaman, uh, Luris? Hindi naman. Wala. I mean, wala <laughs> parang, hindi naman, yung lalaki, talagang babae door or yung bang ang daming one after the other na naging asawa okay. na naghiwalay na basta ganun uh, ito hindi naman nila intended it was just a circumstance right na, ano, okay Gina sa mga nakatrabaho ng mga batang artista anong meron sila ngayon na wala noon and vice versa uh, uh, clearly definitely yung social media uh, tapos uh, and meron silang uh, uh, The, the, mayroon silang studio system ngayon. Tapos, yung multimedia sila. Uh -oh. na, doon, hindi naman ganyan. Tapos, marami silang ways na pwedeng pagkakitaan ngayon because of social media. Noon, wala naman kaming ganyan. Ano mm -hmm. lang, radio, television, yun lang, movies. Yung wala naman sila ngayon, uh, yung mga director, yung mga director, na marami silang matututunan. May, during my time, you know, la, halos lahat ng pelikula ko, you know, there's Direct Luris, there was Marilu Abaya, Shma. there was Lino Broca, Ismael Bernal, you know, Peque Galliana, Celso Al Castillo. Kahit kanino kang mapunta ng mga director na yon, may matututunan ka sa kanilang lahat. I'm not saying wala silang natututunan ngayon, hindi ba? I know what you mean. I, I, but, you know, yung time na yon yun talaga na, oh, kailangan, kailangan ko makatrabaho itong director na to because I would surely learn a lot At kung them. pipili ka halimbawa ng director for the remake of uh, Salome, which is hypothetical, yes. sino ang pipiliin mo ngayon? Hindi uh, ko pa alam, wala akong maisip. Wala eh, maisip. Because si, si Direct Luris kasi, there was that, you know, yung pagkababae, the sensuality, 
na meron siya, meron siya, meron siya noon. Kasi I remember there was a there was a love scene between me and Johnny at the time. She even taught me how to, yung pag gano'n ng kamay, yung pa, gumapang yung kamay ko sa likod ni Johnny Delgado. Pati yun, detalyado yun. Na, Pumupunta ka doon, Loris? Oo. Talag. Galing. Hindi ko makakalimutan yun. Yung pagkares na, you know, may meaning, may ibig sabihin. Hindi basta hinimas mo lang na gano'n. Loris, sinong pipiliin mo to play Salome? Salome? I don't know. You also don't know. Uh-oh. Kasi kailangan ko ng young, uh, innocent looking, but capable of complex emotions. So oh. it's very hard. Bakit namin dapat panuorin ang asawa ng asawa ko? <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Kakaiba siya ang ano, circumstance. Hindi, you know, hindi, I also ask, hindi madaling pilitin ka gumawa ng serye. Oo. Oh. And you're back now doing this. Kasi kakaiba nga. I saw the possibilities. Kasi okay. hindi siya yung ordinary ng kaliwaan. Ganon. Hindi. Kasi when you read the title, parang baka maisip mong ganon. But it's really, it's really, it's really more of the journey of, of people na ordinary people under extraordinary, extraordinary circumstances. circumstances. Yes. Okay. Looking forward. That's January 15. Yeah. Jimmy Prime Time. Yeah, that's 9.35. Bakit namin dapat panoorin si Carmen? Ah, kasi si Carmen, <laughs> mabait siya. <laughs> mabait mabait siya, siya, pero uh, tingnan na lang sa huli kung sino ang masasampal natin. Kasi parang <laughs> meron pa rin. <laughs> Talaga? Meron pa rin, yeah. Pa- kahit ang pagsampal, Luris, I mean, do you direct them? Ka- uh, you know, I was talking to Lizelle, for example. Sabi ko, how does she do it? Uh, binibigyan ka ba ng space? And then, paano ang pag... Uh, wow, she was just raving. Pagsampal, halimbawa, Luris, do you actually tell your actors how to do it? Uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, usually I have a, I have a fight director, oh, yeah. and I, I know, to, uh-huh. just to make sure that that safe, yung ano. Uh-huh. And some of them actually want it to be the real thing. So, uh, eh, she, she, ano, she was the only one actress of mine on the ano. Paano ko ba? Kasi galit na galit siya kay Lisel at that moment na Dito sino sa asawa ko, na sin- ko. sumugod na galit na galit okay. siya. Uh, Sabi niya, sabi, ang sabi kasi tatlong sampal, pak, pak, pak. Sabi niya, gano'n ko ba yun? Parang, hindi. Kasi pag yung pangatlong gano'n, bakhan, masasaktan ka pa. Mm-hmm. So, gawin so, mo. Ngudgudin mo. <laughs> <laughs> Abangan mo natin kung paano ng ngudgud mangyayari. Turis, Gina, maraming salamat. Thank you so much. Ako na po ang mangungumbida. That's January 15, 9.35 in the evening. Panoorin, suportahan po natin ang asawa ng asawa ko. Turis, maraming salamat. Gina, maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> maraming maraming salamat. Uh, night, Taika. Puso, maraming salamat sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga tahanan at puso. Be kind. Make your nanay and tari proud. Hashtag say thank you. Do one good thing a day and make a change. And let, let, let's make this world a better place. Goodbye for now and God bless.